any chance that you'll ever be able to visually decode dreams? Uh, perhaps. Um, a, a colleague of mine uh, in the previous study is working on uh, an interesting problem, which is trying to reconstruct what people are, are seeing. And uh, it hasn't been done yet, but the, the natural question one would ask next is, uh, could we ever reconstruct uh, what a person is, is imagining? Um, I'll give you a flavor of, of his study. What he did was he would show um, different flickering patches of light in a 10 by 10 grid. And sometimes it was just different random patterns. Sometimes they were on or off. And uh, you know the story, a picture's worth a thousand words. It's actually worth much more than a thousand words with just a simple 10 by 10 grid. And trust me, you wouldn't pay money to have 10 by 10 resolution on your iPhone or something like that. But with just a 10 by 10 grid, how many possible images can you make? You can make two to the power of 100 images if we're just saying it's on or off. So it's, that's, that's a big number. I, I don't know what that is off the top of my head, but two to 100 is a big number. Um, and. Uh, if you can see what, what he's done, he's trained on a bunch of random noise patterns, and he can spell out, uh, later when he shows recognizable images, he can spell out from a person's brain activity uh, what the person saw. So you can see the, the, the word neuron being reconstructed from a person's brain activity, uh, a, a, a sort of a square of different sizes, a plus sign, an X. And uh, in essence, what he's doing here is uh, reconstructing what the person saw. I call this, again, a fancy example of brain reading. It is kind of cool, uh, but we don't need a $3 million machine to uh, uh, do what you could do simply looking over the person's shoulder and see what they saw. But the next step might be, could you reconstruct what a person's imagining? So uh, I'll just give a, a sample sort of sci-fi thought, uh, thought case. Imagine you were an eyewitness, an eyewitness to a, a crime, and you saw the suspect. But unfortunately, you're a lousy artist. You, you can't really draw what you saw. Um, would it be one day possible that the person is imagining what they saw and you could reproduce you know, with reasonable likeness what the person saw? That would be pretty handy uh, because as we said, a picture's worth a thousand words and we have a very hard time translating what we've seen into any, any reconstructed form that another person could experience.